This video is sponsored by Squarespace. I built up this Strix Nano Goblin last summer, and it's definitely made it onto my list of favorite FPV airplanes. The amazing thing about this build is that it's capable of long-range HD FPV, recording stabilized 2.5K video, fully autonomous flight, and a 40-minute flight time, all in a package that weighs around 250 grams, depending on what it had for breakfast. It has a 580mm or 22.8 inch wingspan, so it's quite small. Here are some random items for scale. I built mine up with an Omnibus F4 Nano V6 flight controller running ArduPilot, and a CADX Vista for both FPV and RC control. Then above that, I have the Insta360 Bean 2 for recording video. It's all powered by two vape batteries that I stole from an angsty teen. This aircraft was designed by Kevin from the YouTube channel ThinkFlight. He's also the guy who built that awesome ground effect vehicle that I helped out with for the flying ship company. So this video is just going to be a compilation of all the flights that I've done with this airplane over the last few months. In the past, you would have needed a much larger airplane to get this kind of video quality, but now with camera and FPV tech getting smaller and lighter, I wouldn't be surprised if this size of airplane becomes the new norm. They're so much less stressful to fly because the consequences of crashing are lower, and they're much easier to transport and store. Pretty great. Now there's certainly going to be some people out there that think this type of flying is reckless and irresponsible, and if it were a much larger airplane, I would agree. But let's take a step back and look at the science here. By using this equation, we can calculate the kinetic energy of this airplane. At a cruise speed of 10 meters per second, the kinetic energy is 12.5 joules. Now let's put that number into perspective. A banana falling from 6 feet up has a kinetic energy of 3 joules. A seagull hitting you in the face would be 13.5 joules. A gentle football toss is around 32, a pro football toss is 127, and an average guy's punch is 200 joules. So our dear little nano goblin has less kinetic energy than a seagull, and if it hit you in the face it probably wouldn't even hurt as much, because it doesn't even have a sharp beak. So to all you safety nerds, instead of telling me I'm endangering innocent lives, how about you do something useful and go eradicate all seagulls? Just kidding, but you get the idea.
This flight here was particularly impressive because I flew almost all the way to the top of Mount Shasta. I had a total elevation gain of 7,200 feet, a max elevation of 14,000 feet, and a max distance of 4.4 miles. My spotter had to squint really hard to see the plane when it was that far out. Pretty impressive for a little bit of foam and a vape battery. This is the video recorded from the FPV goggles, so it's what I was seeing as I was flying. The video quality was definitely breaking up a bit, but still totally usable. Not bad at all. So I'm here at the beach in Southern California and behind me are some bluffs that kind of run parallel to the shore. Perfect for slope soaring. So I'm going to break out the Nano Goblin and try and get a little bit of lift along here. And then I might head out to that oil rig that's a few miles offshore. See if I can make it out there with a little tiny Nano Goblin. Sub 250 gram long range FPV. Oh look, there's some slope soaring going on right now. How neat is that? I'm going to turn on the little Insta360 beam here. It's rolling. Just shove it right in the nose, just like that, and we are good to go. Alright, we are up in the air. Okay, so we're kind of flying along this bluff area right now. So I'm going to see if I can get any ridge lift off of these bluffs. Uh, make sure I dodge all the palm trees. I feel like I'm getting some lift for sure. Yeah. I'm definitely not able to slope soar with no motor, but definitely getting a little bit of lift. Ah, uh, it seems like my pitch is a little bit overtuned when I'm gliding. But not when I'm not gliding, which is the weird part. My throttle's off right now. Oh, there we go. Getting a little lift for sure. That's working. Yeah, I just gotta stay closer to the bluff. The pitch is still oscillating a lot though. I don't think it's as easy to stay in the lift when I'm going downwind. Now we're going downwind. Oh, it's bumpy. Alright, turn and back into the wind. Throttle down. We're gliding. I'm definitely able to just kind of crab along this bluff with no motor. That's cool. I think this airframe is just a little bit too heavy for proper slope soaring right now. It just takes too much space to turn. Also the flight controller is set up for a really large turn radius, so I'm not able to like stay close to the cliff and turn back and forth. But it stays up, it's, it's been gliding all along with no motor. I'm going to put it in return to home mode and see if it knows what it's doing. There we go. Oh yeah, it knows. So I'm going to put it back into fly-by-wire A and cruise out towards that oil rig. The issue with this current setup right now is I don't have any voltage telemetry. So I don't know how low my battery is. I know there are ways to add telemetry from ArduPilot into DJI FPV, but this plane is super small and lightweight, so if I had to put any more circuit boards in there, it'd probably not be ideal. There's a bunch of ships out there in the harbor, and I think it's all because of the backlogs in the ports right now. They don't have enough workers from COVID and labor shortages, so all the ships from China just have to wait out there for a long time before they can go into the harbor and, un and unload. I'm maintaining a pretty good signal so far. I'm hoping I can make it all the way to that oil rig. I'm going to glide down to that sailboat and say hi. Woo! That's so cool. My controller signal is kind of dropping a bit. Wow! That's epic. Okay, I don't want to get too close. I'm going to climb back up and then go to the oil rig. I haven't seen any whales yet. My video signal is getting kind of intermittent too, so, so I probably shouldn't go any further than this oil rig. 
I have no idea how far away I am, but it looks pretty far. Woo! I think I'm starting to hit some turbulence that's coming off the oil rig, because that got bumpy there for a sec. Wow, we. Oh boy. That's pretty rad. Okay, here we go. Turning down wind. There it is. Pretty wild. Oh wow, that's pretty neat. There's a helipad. Okay, I hit the turbulence. That was bumpy. <laughs> oh, oh boy, I'm sketched out. I'm coming home. There's a buoy. Now it looks like if I just kind of aim right past that sailboat, I'll end up at home. I was flying into the wind all the way out there. Now I have a tailwind. So the journey back should be a lot faster. Oh, there's another bird. A seagull. Okay, I'm gonna cut my throttle and descend down to the wave level. I'm gonna throttle back up and fly down the beach here. There's supposed to be a swell going on right now, but I don't really see any big waves. All right, I'm gonna throttle up and then turn back and then slope soar the bluff right back here. So the throttle's off, we're fully gliding now. No power. We'll see if we can fly all the way back here with no throttle. Only ridge lift. Yeah, we're doing it. Throttle is still at zero. We're just cruising. Man, I love the Nano Goblin. And I love slope soaring. There I am, just flew right over my head. I can hear the servos twitching. <laughs> that is so fun. Then I'm gonna have to figure out my landing situation here. I'm gonna turn and then I'm gonna come land right next to my feet. Here we go. All right, right in the sand. That was awesome. <laughs> Woo! Safe and sound. Nano Goblin is back. Okay, let's see how much battery we used. I don't know if you can see that, but it's at 3.9 volts per cell. And these are lithium ion cells. So I could have flown way longer than I did. Ah! Hey brother, do you like the music in RC test flight videos? Cause I'm releasing an album! My full album is available on Bandcamp. Click the link in the description. Featuring hit songs like a chrono plan. That's the plan. A chrono plan. That's the plan. And a chrono plan too. High quality autonomous ground effect vehicle. Also, a new digitally remastered version of Little Boat Big Journey. So the world can see what a great boat. Brought to you by RC Test Flight. Only on Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Streaming now on Bandcamp. And if you don't like it, eat sh Wow, that's amazing. Thank you, Colin. I know I'm definitely going to be downloading your new album and listening to it every day. Also, if you download his album, be sure to throw him a few bucks so he can transcend poverty. You know what else is amazing? Last month, all the snowcat parts arrived, and I spent about two weeks packaging everything up and shipping out all the kits. My goodness gracious, let me tell you, that was a lot of work. But it's a good thing I had Squarespace and their e-commerce tools to help me deal with all the orders. Their powerful e-commerce tools make adding products, tracking inventory, and managing orders super easy. Squarespace extensions make it easy for me to connect third-party shipping and order fulfillment services to streamline the logistics. This has been a huge help for the Snowcat project, and amazingly, I was able to get all 120 orders from the first batch shipped out in one week. And thank goodness for Squarespace extensions. They make it easy for me to connect third-party shipping and order fulfillment services to streamline the logistics. For most of the packages, it just took a few clicks to print a shipping label. I'll definitely be using Squarespace for the second batch as well. I used Squarespace to build rctestflight.com and it's definitely my preferred website building platform of choice. I'm also using Squarespace for the online store where snowcats can be purchased. Check out rctestflight.com to see my Squarespace website. And for your own website, go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash rctestflight to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thanks again to Squarespace for sponsoring this video.